Hey guys, thanks for checking out Armatist Reviews. Today I'm going to be reviewing the High Tech Custom Concepts Howitzer 70 Muzzle Brake. Look at this thing. It's like, look at that, it's crazy. So the High Tech Custom Concepts Howitzer 70 muzzle brake does come with some timing shims so you can uh, time the muzzle brake to your shotgun, your KSG. It is made from 2024 T3 aircraft billet aluminum. Um, it's lighter uh, but strong, keep weight down. Um, I mean you can, you can tell there's a chunk of metal in your hand. It, it's got some weight to it um, but it's, it's not too bad. They do also have a steel version for those who go through a lot of rounds like military, police, something like that. It, uh, it's a little more expensive, um, but it's also heavier, but it's supposed to be a lot more durable. This should be fine um, for the average shooter who goes out and shoots a little bit here and there. Um, but if you're going to be going pumping through rounds, um, hundreds of rounds a month or something, you might want the steel version. The length is 2.595 inches past thread. And it's two inches wide by one and three eighths high in diameter and weighs two ounces. Um, they claim that it reduces recoil by up to 70%, which is crazy if that's true. For you history buffs, you may recognize this uh, little device. It uh, was originally designed for the howitzer cannons. High tech custom concepts kind of took that design, shrunk it down for the KSG, and uh, you know they figured if it works for the howitzer cannons, it probably works pretty well for KSG. It does have four top vented holes to help reduce muzzle rise, um, which will be great on the KSG. Like I said, you do align it with those timing spacers. These timing spacers I have here, um, that's how you'll line it up um, to make sure it's nice and flat and working properly. I don't know if you can tell, but these side ports are angled um, to maximize recoil reduction. And as always, it is black hard anodized to military specs for maximum strength. All right, so from everything, I tried looking online to see if there was a way to take the barrel nut off without the special tool. Um, High Tech Custom Concepts makes one and then a few others that make muzzle brakes for the KSG. Um, I, I couldn't really find a way to take the barrel nut off without one of these special tools. So if you're gonna do this, I'll well, just order that tool make it easy. They do recommend using an impact wrench um, to take this off. I do have, I don't have a, a pneumatic air uh, impact wrench. It's just uh, cordless, so we'll see if it has enough um to do it. I think it should though. I am going to throw my hearing protection on because it's impact driver. I do look a little loud and I like to save my hearing whenever possible. Um, if you're wondering what this nice squishy air cushion is, uh, noise fighters just uh, came out with these um, This is like a silicone memory foam sound deadening material Super comfortable ten times more comfortable than what comes on the Howard light um, OE uh, impact sports. They're not too expensive. I would highly highly recommend checking these out I have a video that I did on you can check that out. I'll put it in, in this video here. Okay, here's on Came right off now we just need to kind of clean those threads up a little bit because we're going to put some, lock, some uh, blue Loctite on there. Going to spray a little bit of CLP. Here, run it around those threads. Alright, so now we want to hand test the brake for timing. So no thread locker on there, nothing like that. Throw it on, see about where it comes up. So obviously not the right way we want. Let's try that. Oh man, that might be perfect. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Obviously we want the vent holes at the top, not the bottom. All right, so the one thickest washer seems to be about perfect. Um, We'll try that. Um, I already cleaned the threads earlier. Bit of blue Loctite on here. 
make sure it stays nice and snug. Okay, so that's on there, the lock tight. And I'm gonna let it dry overnight. So we'll let that sit. And then we'll take it out and uh, test her out. It's looking pretty beastly so far. I'm excited, it's gonna be awesome. All right guys, this thing is now fully upgraded. I mean, oh my gosh, look at this. Ugh. These are all high-tech custom concepts parts. Um, the lower Picatinny rail, um, which is made of billet aluminum instead of the plastic that comes on the KSG. This is a Magpul vertical foregrip. Any rail from high tech custom concepts. Um, we have the Howitzer 70 muzzle brake. This thing just looks beastly. I can't wait to try it out and see if it really makes a whole huge difference. Um, and then we have the, don't know if you can see that, the uh, extended tube selector arm. So you can barely take your hand off the grip and be able to select your uh, tube. So that's great. And then we have the 14 shell ammo carrier. This thing, it's gonna be crazy. This thing's gonna be able to hold more than a box of 12 gauge shotgun shells, two, two and three quarter inch. That's just crazy. It's gonna be heavy as all get out but it's gonna be fun. So we'll, uh, we'll let the rock set, or I'm sorry, the blue Loctite dry overnight um, and then take it out here this weekend or so and uh, see how everything is, man. It's gonna be great, I'm excited. You guys are new here go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want to see future content i'm going to be doing more videos getting better and better hopefully um i feel like i've been improving a lot so also be sure to check out the description below got a lot of links down there social media pages a discount code for uh 2a hats revolutionarypatriot.com apparel things like that if you guys have any questions let me know and i'll do my best to answer them i'm not a professional uh, i just do this uh, as a passion so thanks for watching guys keep shooting